A common design pattern is the ubiquitous image carousel, where you drag one image into focus, and as it drags in, it scales up, and the one it replaces scales down and moves out of focus. This is remarkably easy to accomplish in XD, so let's see how. Now, as you can see, there are three artboards here, and each one contains a large image, right here, here, and here. And, of course, there are thumbnails associated with each of the artboards. And you notice that the thumbnails overhang, because we're going to be using the thumbnails for the interactivity, or the scaling, or the auto-animating, however you want to call it, and it has to touch an artboard. So the plan is to drag a thumbnail, so we'll say drag this thumbnail this way and bring this image into focus. So let's get started. And we're going to select prototype mode and we're going to select this first image here. We're going to select a wire and we're just going to drop a wire on the second artboard. And the trigger is going to be a drag. We're going to auto animate. And the destination, of course, is the second artboard. And we'll use snap as the easing. Now the really cool thing about working with XD is that it remembers the last settings you used for the transitions or auto animate. So we're going to send it back. So we'll select this one, drag a wire over. Oh look! So now we can quickly get this done. So we can just drag that over there. Same one. And we'll get this one. And we drag over. And let's see how we do. So we'll give it a test. And we'll just drag that image over, and there we go. Drag that image over, and there we go. We're at the end, so we'll go there, and we'll go there, and there you go. There's the drag. Now, this is really great because if you have a project destined for a touch screen, uh, this action is absolutely essential. Now I'm going to throw you a curveball. What if it is determined that the main images, these images right here, are the ones that the user will drag. I'll let you in a little secret. You can't do it with what you've just learned. That's the bad news. The good news is I'm going to show you how to do it in the next exercise.